Okay, we got a 2014 Kia Soul here. I'm going to be showing you how to remove, replace this instrument cluster. Now, a few reasons, you know, if you were needing to test this uh, instrument cluster, you might need to remove it if it was damaged and you were having to send it off and be repaired, or if you were just simply getting a replacement. Now, I will say this, if your instrument cluster is damaged, more than likely it's going to be cheaper to send it off for repair versus getting a replacement because the replacement is also going to have to be programmed to your car and, and the mileage in there so you have to think about that we don't need a lot of tools i've got a phillips screwdriver some little trim tool to kind of help pull on the plastic there without messing it up and uh, just got a 10 millimeter here okay so we're going to come inside here now um First thing, you know, we're going to have to get this piece out of the way to be able to get in here. Now, the way that this here is made is you've got this little, you can see it's like a leather piece. I'll show you in a second. That goes down in there and it kind of uh, covers and hides the uh, area in behind this, basically. So, what we need to do, and it also makes it easier to get it out, we're going to remove the top of this piece right here. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to get this Phillips screw that you see that's right underneath here. Now yours may be a little bit different depending on the year but it should have a Phillips screw down here and it may you know could possibly have a cover or something. Alright so we're just going to get this Phillips screw out. I switch to my shorter Phillips here. All right, so that's all that is. All right, for the next part, we're gonna go ahead and get our key in here and so our steering wheel's not locking. Now you can crank it if you'd like. And we're gonna turn the wheel. Now there should be a screw right here. However, as you can see, it's missing. So uh, I guess I need to put one back there. And if you turn it this way, there should also be a screw. Let me show you on this other side. Okay, so we should have a screw here. Now, these are both gone, so I don't have to remove them, but I will see if I can find some and put these back. All right, now, if you can see, this is, you know, just kind of snaps together here. So you want to just start somewhere and start kind of lifting it up. Now, you want to be careful because even with a plastic tool, you know, you could gouge it, but we're just going to pop it up on each side here. Okay, and on, we're just going to do the same thing on this side. Now, you don't want to yank this out of here because it has that little leather piece that is going to be attached to our trim panel up here. Okay, now we're going to work on removing this. Now, all I can tell you is you start pulling on this a little bit at a time. What I like to do is take this trim tool, get up in behind, hook it, and start giving a little tug. And it's gonna really be stuck. And you're gonna think that you're gonna break it, but it will come loose. So we're just gonna get in behind it and work all the way around. And then we'll be able to pull this out and I'll show you the clips. Now what should happen, because somebody's already took this here and separated, but what should happen is you should be able to pull this piece out and it should stay attached to this piece with the leather on it, but somebody's already disassembled that. Now let me see if I can show you, okay so you have these clips that are going along behind this and they're on the top and the bottom and those are clipping in to this let me show you all right so you look here you can see those little areas where your clips are going into so that is what all it holds that in. 
Now like I said, this little leather piece, this is what it's covering, so you can't see down in there. So the only thing that we've got left now is we just gotta take these two screws, these Phillips screws out. And you can also see these two little locating pegs right there that are plastic. Alright, so there's that one. Okay, so now what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to pop this out of here. It's also got clips on the top and the back of this. So we're going to need to pull on each side. Alright, now before we go any farther, there's one more important step we're going to take. Alright, we're going to come out here we're going to disconnect this negative. that's not going to make contact. All right, so we're not going to be able to pull it out very far. We're going to have a wire connector back here. All right, so if you can see that, we're just going to push down right there and try not to pull on your wires, but it's going to stick. These things always do. I want to work on it a minute. Okay, wow, this thing was no joke. I finally wiggled it loose there. All right, now at this point, we should be able to just bring this right out through here. We may need to tilt the steering down if it needs it. It should fit out of here no problem, but it might take me a second to wiggle it the right way here. There we go. And there we have it. Okay, and just to show you, when this is not broken, it's supposed to be like fastened back here, like so, and it kind of just clips on to this. All right, so if we can get this back in here, we're just going to... I'll start over here. Get a little tilt. Let's get our wire connector on. You seen how I took it off? We're just going to snap it right back in. Remember these top pegs right here are going to lock in back here. So when we kind of get these. So once you get these here, down these lower ones in place, then you just kind of give it a give it a little push, and you'll hear that click, and it locks right back in there. So make sure these are where they're supposed to be. And we're just going to get these two Phillips screws back in. Now I know everybody's worried about rattles and stuff when you take something apart, um, but you don't want to over tighten these little screws that are going into plastic or you sure enough will have some rattles. All right, now I've got this other piece. We're going to start working it in. Now what I've done here, I took a little bit of tape and I kind of taped that little leather piece back on to the back part there. And so hopefully it's going to stay put but right now we're just lining this back up with the tabs and you will hear it snap real good when it goes back in there okay so now it's just a matter of we're going to line this piece back up and if you don't get it right it will not snap together easily so that just snapped right back no problem We'll make sure this side All right so we'll just go ahead and get our screw down here back in All 
All right, so I dug around here for a while. I actually found a couple I think are going to work. All right, so I got one in this side already. It's just a little short Phillips. All right, so we'll just turn it the other way and we'll get this other one in. And I guess that was doing just fine without it, but this will make sure that it's staying put. All right, so let's go get the battery reconnected. And of course you'll want to make sure everything's working properly. Right, so that's going to do it on replacing this instrument gauge cluster up here. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. And thank you for watching.